what is going on everyone today in this video we're going to talk about how you guys can pair your cronus and wirelessly with your playstation 5 and your xbox controller if you guys are playing on your pc and also now it is possible to do this on your playstation 5 as well all right now if you're going to do it on the ps5 you won't need a device called the zenlink let me go ahead and grab mine over here so there it is let me go ahead and grab my zenlink device so i can show it to you guys it's again plugged into my second cronus zen you won't need the Zenlink device. I do have a setup video out on this for the PlayStation 5. So if you guys want my videos, just let me know in the comments below, all right? So the first thing we're going to do is let me go ahead and just showcase to you guys. This Zen here is plugged into my PC. Got Apex Legends open. You guys can see I can use L1, R1. Everything works fine, all right? So the first step we're going to do is let me go ahead and just exit to the desktop. Is We need to go ahead and set up the Cronus Zen correctly, right? Make sure you went ahead and updated the Zen, all that good stuff. But the first thing you got to do is you can't have it plugged into the top, right? When you're first setting it up, make sure you guys just plug it into this right hand side. Okay. You want to go ahead and open up your Zen studios because you need to set this up correctly before you can connect your PS5 or your Xbox controller wirelessly with the Zen. All right. So once you guys are in here, you want to go over into your device tab. Okay. You want to make sure where it says Outpro protocol. I highly recommend if you're going to use the controller wirelessly, if you're using a PS5 one, you can go ahead and select PlayStation 5, okay? But for everyone else, I just recommend setting it on auto, okay? Auto seems to work the best and or PC or mobile. But again, just set it to auto, all right? Once that step is done, all you have to do next is literally unplug the Cronus Zen from the right-hand side. And you only need the power at the top, just like you guys see me do here. Just only power it at the top, okay? Once that's done, just put your Cronus Zen to the side, okay? Next, you want to go ahead and pair your controller wirelessly. And to do that with our PlayStation 5, let me go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. You're going to want to go ahead and hold down the share and the PS button here, okay? So you hold down share, then you hold down the PlayStation button until the LEDs on this PS5 controller start flashing blue, right? Once they do, you can put this to the side. Then go ahead and pick up your Cronus Zen. And you want to go ahead and press this left side big blue button. You guys can see it here. Just press it one time. You guys saw me just press it, right? Once it's pressed, you can see it's going to be paired. It should be solid blue. And then now you can just go ahead and turn on your scripts and all that good stuff. And everything will indeed work, right? So I'll show you guys it's working. Let me go ahead and put this down here. And let me just go ahead and make that a little bit small, right? You guys can see we got our scripts active here. And look, I'll press L2 and options and show you guys that you can enter the script, adjust your values, all that good stuff, right? So again, one more time, if you guys did want to go ahead and just pair it again, all I'm going to do is disconnect it and show you guys, all right? So let me go ahead and just make this a little bit bigger again. There we go. So I'm just going to go ahead and unplug it, right? Let's say you went out, you did something, you just unplugged your gen, turned off your PC. To connect it again, literally just plug it into the top, right? And all you want to do is, again, you want to make sure your controller is put into pairing mode. We can see right now mine's already turned on. That's fine. I'll just put it into pairing mode one more time just to show you guys how to do it. All right. So you can see I'm going to go and hold down the share PS until it starts blinking blue. Then you pick up your Cronus then. Okay. And you want to make sure you just press this left side big blue button right here. And again, just press it one time. So you just press it one time. Let the Zen do its thing. You can see they're both going to be paired. All right. Now, how do you do this if you're playing on the Xbox controller? Same thing. Make sure you go ahead and first just unplug it because I already had that PS5 controller connected. I don't want that one to connect again. So I'm going to grab my Elite Series 2 controller and show you guys how to connect this one up. All right. So we can see my PS5 controller off to the side. Same thing. Just go ahead and plug your Zen in again, only at the top. Right. You guys can see me doing it here. Make sure it says Zen on here. No scripts are active at this time. Next, you want to grab your Xbox controller, put this thing into pairing mode. First, you're going to have to turn it on and then hold this little button up here, right? So you, first you turn on your controller, then hold down that little button here. And you can see it should start flashing like this. Once it does, you pick up your Zen. Same exact step. Just go ahead and press this left side big blue button one time. You can see it's going to flash. And then again, the Xbox controller does take a little bit to connect, but there we go, right? We can see it connected. And I'll show you guys one more time. Everything is indeed working. So let me go ahead, make this screen a little bit smaller for you guys. And there we go, right? We can see our scripts over there. 
Same thing, I'm gonna pick up the Xbox controller, enter the script by holding LT, and then the three little lines button, and there we go, right? I can use my controller, Zen's connected, everything's good. Here's how you will connect your Cronus Zen on the PS5 wirelessly. Again, you guys will need to set up the Zen link first. If you haven't seen my full setup video for that, make sure you guys go ahead and check it out. But once all that's done, it's very simple to pair your controller wirelessly. All you want to make sure is your Zen links plugged into the left side, just like you guys see mine. And then again, give the Zen power from the top, right? Once those two steps are done, you want to wait till the LED on the Zen link here is this light teal blue color. If you guys are looking at it, it will be like a light blue color. Once it is, now we can go ahead and grab our PS5 controller. And the same process, you want to go ahead and put the controller into pairing mode, right? So you're going to hold the share and then the PS button until the LEDs on the controller start flashing blue, right? So hold share, hold down the PS button. You guys can see me doing it here and just wait. And then we can see, bang, they're flashing that color. Then you just go ahead and pick up your Zen and simply go ahead and press this left side big blue button one time, okay? So again, press it one time and you guys can see it's gonna go ahead and pair, right? Once it's done, you can use your controller and it's wireless on the PS5 and you can go ahead and turn on whatever script you want and it's that simple.